Hi everyone, thank you for watching On Call for All Kids. Today's topic is about allergies. We'll be discussing the symptoms of allergies, the most common environmental allergy triggers, and the best ways to treat allergies. I am joined by Dr. Rachel Dawkins. She's the medical director of the Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine Clinic here at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. So it's allergy season. We're seeing the pollen on the cars, the sneezing, watery eyes. Why has it always come this time of year? Yeah, so seasonal allergies affect a lot of people and it's always in the spring. And so you know your car is covered in that yellow or green film, all the trees are blooming and so lots of people are suffering from allergies. Even the kids, even yes. those kiddos. Yes, we see it all the time. Parents are coming in typically the same time every year with their kids just suffering with, with sinus problems or itchy watery eyes and um, we know that it's allergies. Yeah, what are some of those classic symptoms that you see in kids with allergies? Yeah, so it can be really hard to figure out is this allergies, is this strep throat, mm -hmm. is this a cold? Um, typically, allergies are itchy so if your nose is itchy eyes are itchy that's a good sign that it's really allergies um, a lot of people can get sore throat because of post nasal drip so it, just because you have sore throat doesn't mean you have strep um, throat um, so you know itchy watery eyes some people have the dark circles under their eyes kids are always going like this um, good signs of allergies. When should we maybe take them to be seen though? Because I know for some parents it might be hard to determine is it is this a cold or is this really allergies? Sure, you know I always say if you're not sure ask your pediatrician. It's great to get a good physical exam. There's lots of things that we can find on our exam that point us towards allergies or towards a virus or something worse. Um, so always you know if you're wondering get them checked out. But if you notice that every year in March or April, this is what happens to your child, it's a good sign that it's seasonal allergies. Yeah, so kind of pay attention to that. Yep. What time of year is it? Yeah. What are some other common allergen triggers that are in our environment that we should maybe look out for? So there's lots of triggers um, and all kids might react to something different. So right now we're thinking about pollen, you know, um, oak, all different types of things, but we also have things in our home. So dust mites, cockroaches, mice or rat droppings, hard yeah. to think about, but those are things that are in most of our homes that can sometimes trigger allergies. So depending on what your child um, reacts to, those things in our homes might be all year round and then just these seasonal things may happen once or twice a year. All right, so what are some of the best treatments or ways that we can help alleviate the allergies? Yeah, so I always think, first of all, if your child is playing outside and they're really sensitive to pollen, first thing is when they come inside, let them um, take a shower to wash all the pollen off, especially before you get into your bed mm -hmm. and might be sleeping with a hair full of pollen that you don't recognize. Mm -hmm. The other thing is we can do some environmental things like um, covers on our bed for allergens, using a HEPA filter, not having carpet in our rooms. And then we can think about medicines. Most of them are over the counter. I would definitely talk to your pediatrician about these, but we think about oral antihistamines like cetirizine or loratadine, and there's also some great nasal sprays that are some nasal steroids that you can find over the counter for children. All right, Dr. Dawkins, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you all for watching. If there's a topic you would like us to look into, just comment below right here on this video, and you can also check out our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. You'll find many patient stories and other healthcare information there as well. We'll see you next week.